Yo, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today I wanted to bring you a bit of an update on a project that I've been working on. Um, so as you know, I run DJI uh, pretty much all the time. All my quads, apart from my little micros, they're all kitted out with DJIs. Um, but I've still got friends who fly analog and I still need to test some stuff that's analog and so occasionally I still need to use analog so I'm all about running analog through my DJI goggles. Up until now it looked like the best option was the BDI Digi adapter with the uh, with a rapid fire or any other uh, video receiver module put in it um, and yeah it's not a bad it's not a bad setup at all really it's just uh, it's a little bit it sticks out quite a lot and if you saw my last video you can see that I wasn't exactly overwhelmed with the way that they had designed it it's just uh, it just yeah the module module base sticks out too much this thing for your plugs sticks out too much and it kind of defeats the point of doing it um, behind the using the face plate rather than just sticking it on the side I actually think that the on the side is probably a bit of a cleaner setup turns out that I wasn't alone there uh, there was a there was a guy called Ferdinando over in Italy who had the same thought and he wanted a cleaner solution. Uh, the only difference between me and him is that he he knows, seems to know a hell of a lot about uh, electronics. I think he was actually involved with LaForge back in the day. So he actually helped to develop the LaForge diversity system. Um, so he's a really clever guy and knows, knows what he's doing. And he's uh, designed and developed a, a dual module system that goes inside the DJI goggles. Uh, behind the faceplate. He's been showing that off recently in, uh, in the fa on Facebook and I caught wind of it and asked if I could get involved with the development of it because uh, although it was a really good idea I could see that it just needed, uh, needed some fine tuning just to make it a little bit more um, just to make it better for everyone basically. Uh, it seemed like it very much so made it for himself um, and I could see some potential there to make it, uh, to develop it further and make it a really nice little uh, product for lots of people to use. Um, so the he's come up with these two modules, uh, two PCBs, both have a VRX uh, on each video receiver chip on each of the PCBs and the PCBs mount internally behind the faceplate as I said. So up until the point that I got involved Ferdinando had designed the modules to be internally wired only um, and he also designed the antennas to be these little tiny PCB antennas. Uh, I think I've got a picture which I'll overlay now. Little PCB antennas that go on the inside of a plastic printed faceplate because obviously the, uh, the the one that comes on your goggles is made of metal and that would block the signal. So um, <clears throat> he had all the easily the cleanest analog um, <laughs> mod on his DJI goggles. It just looked like stock goggles but behind this faceplate were two antennas and, and a whole analog diversity system. Um, and that, that diversity system, all the controls and everything, it's all controlled by your phone, by a smartphone and an app that Ferdinando has also developed. Um, and he was showing all this off, I really liked it, so I wanted to get involved and help develop the app further and basically tweak his idea so that it worked a little bit better for myself and uh, in doing so it will work better for a bunch of other people as well. Um, I wanted external antennas, uh, SMA antennas, so I could put patches on or you know different high gain antennas for doing long range or whatever. Um, and I wanted external wiring and the app also needed quite a bit of uh, help to make it look a bit better and function uh, function better as well. So got in touch with Ferdinando and yeah, I'm now helping him to develop the this system further. Here's my DJI goggles, which I've been playing with off camera the whole time and not showing. Um, this is my, uh, this is 
so Ferdinando sent me over a prototype, um, which I did do a, a whole installation video for, but it came out pretty crap. And that was, over the last couple of weeks, we've we've gone up a few stages to the point where this isn't really the same thing as what it's going to be. Um, but this is functioning prototype that I've been able to test the actual functionality of the whole system, see how well it actually works, and if it's here, you know, see what changes we need to make there. Um, so I've got this externally wired version with SMAs that come out of the faceplate there. Um, as you can see, it doesn't stick out much further than the original plate would. Um, and the antennas are really they're angled outwards by about 10 degrees, maybe 15, and they're 45 degrees up. So if you're anything like me and you're always, and you fly like this, <laughs> these are actually gonna be pointing out. And even if you fly with your head straight up, there's so much, there's a nice, uh, having them pointing up is way better than having them point straight out, if you ask me. Because guess what? Quads are usually up in the air, so having your antennas pointing up is probably a good idea, especially if you're running patch antennas. Yeah, I mean, what more can I really say about it? I know that you just want to see it in action now. So a couple of days ago, I was out testing this and uh, yeah, I filmed it all. I did some screen recording so you can see the app, see it all functioning nicely. Got some DVR and yeah, let's cut to that now. Later. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm out in the field today, uh, the boys. Bandit and Marmite. <laughs> I hate fucking doing this in front of them. Uh, so yeah, out in the field, these boys run analog. So I'm going to be testing out the um, Defilo diversity system that I've just installed on my DJI goggles, um, and I'm going to screen record so that you can see it all working and stuff on the phone. And I'll be recording DVR at the same time. Um, so first thing I've got to do is plug plug my DJI goggles in so yeah I plug my DJI goggles in and then I can connect to the the goggles obviously like so spot <laughs> on Is your when you're up there as well? Right. Oh, fuck yeah. Right, so let me get these goggles on to analog. Look at those. Right, so tuned into Jamie now, and as you can see, the uh, two modules are switching. Um, RSSI is jumping up and down. And you can change the settings so that, depending on the difference between the two, it will switch. So if one's like default, is one has to be 10% higher than the other for it to switch. But obviously Jamie's running. How much power are you running, Jamie? 800 milliwatts. Yeah. Yeah. So he's on 800 milliwatts. So the signal's like really, really strong. Fly at the back of the field for us, mate. Do what? Go to the back of the field. Yeah, yeah. Around there's good. Yeah. So now I can see it jumping a bit more. Um, for show you the settings here. So this hysteresis. Is... That's like the dead band so now it should switch every five percent difference 
but I think it might have just jibbed out. There we go, it's reloaded. So that little goggle screen in the middle, the count, that's the counter, the counter in the middle, 17, 18. That's uh, every time it switches, it counts. Um, currently is on module A, and A has been up for 76% of the time versus B at 24% of the time. So it gives you a little stats, and uh, it's going to be pretty good for testing antennas. Um, see which one works better than the other. Annoyingly, these are both the same antenna, but module A always seems to be working a bit better than module B. So, um, might need to do a little bit of fine tuning with the calibration, but other than that, it's, it is working pretty well. There we go, he's coming to land now. <laughs> so while he's still plugged in, I'm just going to do a band scan. Oh, I was recorded. <laughs> and as you can see, it pulls up every all the red dots are full channels so Jamie was on R1 um, but because he's at 800 milliwatt it's bleeding over into R2 IMD 6C is actually like the favoured race channels um, and 1 and 2 is actually R1 and 2 so they're actually the same channel but you can see that his R1 is it's bleeding over onto DJI 1 and 2 I've been using three, these boys have been on R1 and 2 and your video alright while I've been doing DJI now, Ma? Yeah, it got better. Yeah, yeah, so I'm running DJI uh, 1000 milliwatts channel 7 uh, on DJI 25 megabit mode. They're both on 800 R1 and R2 and none of us are getting any interference at all. So this little band scanner thing is going to be perfect for, oh, what channel should I go on? What channel should I go on? So you can use this little band scanner there and all the green dots are basically where you're free to fly. So you can see here DJI 25 megabit mode, you could go on five, six and seven. So obviously the further away from the other guys you are, the better. So. Um, favorites, I don't think that's actually set up yet. So yeah, that's the basic overview and functionality of the, the Philo DJI system. Um, so yeah, I just want to do a bit more testing on it still and uh, there's a couple of little features I want to add and I'm actually going to get involved with uh, developing the app as well. I've never, I've never designed an app or, or worked on apps in the past, but I mean, how hard can it be? So I'm just going to teach myself how to do that and uh, contribute to the development of that so that I can add I don't feel like I'm being a pain in the ass when I get people to add stuff I can do it myself or whatever um, yeah that's about it I'm gonna go rip a few more packs later uh, yeah he's been showing that off uh, recently